Welcome everybody to a new episode of uh, Wine Tasting with me, Harry Constantinescu, your personal wine consultant. As uh, some of you probably thought that my name is a uh, Greek name, no, it's not, it's Romanian, if you were wondering. But now, talking about Greece, uh, in this episode, we're gonna try to uh, test, uh, to make a tasting in, um, uh, on the Greek wines. As you all know, um, the Greek culture and civilization had a very big influence uh, in antiquity over all the people in antiquity. And actually, the wine they they uh, they were producing wine uh, thousands of year of years before Christ, and. Um, their wines, their vines, they were planted in the um, south of Italy, they were planted in France and as far as Spain as well. The wine trade was uh, in vogue at the time. Um, now the history, of course, the geography and the history influenced the wine production in Greece, but the, uh, the wine also influenced the history. How's that? The thing is that the, wine, uh, the, the Greek legislators in uh, antiquity um, when somebody would propose a law, you know, or submit a law to them to be, uh, um, to tell their opinion over that law, they would uh, uh, give a pro or contra against the law, they will discuss the law uh, in the Senate and then they will get together and go back and um, have some wine, you know, drink, have a uh, nice meal and when they are were a little drunk, they would discuss the law again. And if the law seemed to be good, it would pass. Otherwise, if they were against the law and they were drunk, the drunk the, the law would not pass. Uh, that was a good way to look at the things uh, at the time. Now, the geographical position of Greece, uh, as, uh, it's in uh, Eastern Europe. It's situated. It's surrounded by sea. We have the uh, uh, Aegean Sea on the south. We have the Black Sea up northwest. We have Macedonia and uh, Bulgaria up north. But the region that we're going to talk today, it's actually uh, situated in south, in the Aegean Sea, it's an island, it's called Santorini, and this wine actually comes from the Santorini island. It's a 2005 Sigalas, uh, one of the most famous, I might say, uh, uh, white wines in Greece. Uh, Greece has a, a very big production of uh, white wine. And, uh, why is this uh, why is this wine so special the island of Santorini 3500 years ago, it's a volcanic island and 3500 years ago this volcano erupted uh, it was one of the most powerful eruptions uh, of a volcano in the world that the world know till uh, today uh, matter of fact um, uh, the lava spit up uh, 20 miles up in a stratosphere and um, uh, it generated a huge tsunami. Anyways, why is this important for our wine? It's that uh, that lava and ash, the volcanic ash, actually covered the island, and it's a very thick uh, layer of ash, up to 60 meters actually, uh, according to the archaeological uh, discoveries. And um, this grape, which is called Acertico, that makes the wine in Santorini, it's one of the most famous white grape varietals. Uh, it's so uh, acidic and uh, it, it's so special because it takes all the minerality from this uh, volcanic soil that it's uh, uh, that covered uh, at the time uh, this island. Actually, that eruption uh, ended up uh, uh, the Minoic civilization, Minoan civilization. Um, if you're familiar with, um, I've opened the bottle and I'm uh, can't wait to taste it. Uh, because it's so special. As you see, I'm going to use, uh, this is a Sauvignon Blanc glass produced by Riedel. Riedel doesn't produce glasses for, especially for uh, Acertico grapes. So I had a conversation with one of my friends, which is, um, it's an expert in uh, Riedel glassware. And um, we were thinking between Chablis, which is uh, also the area of Chablis, uh, it's covered in uh, ash, so it has, generates a lot of minerality, so it's going to probably, uh, accentuate the minerality in the wine and the Sauvignon Blanc which uh, will accentuate more the fruit, the perfume and the acidity in the wine. So uh, I have chose to do the tasting with a Sauvignon Blanc uh, wine glass. Let's see, the color it's, uh, it's golden yellow more than I was expecting. I was expecting something less than that, something watery but nothing like that. Uh, beautiful color, golden color. Let's see the nose.
definitely lemon lemon up front a lot of fruit and uh, some grapefruit in the back I'm very curious how this wine uh, how this wine ta tastes uh, matter of fact Assyrtico it's one of the grapes that probably the only one that I know so far one, one of the few that it's phylloxera resistant so it was never uh, attacked by the phylloxera laws like the rest of the uh, vines in Europe I'm telling you this is like chewing stones such high minerality the glass is made not to accentuate that much the minerality but I have a lot of minerality a lot of lemon coming back uh, from the glass very big acidity triggers the saliva this means uh, very high acidity it's one of the grapes that develops acidity and high sugar levels in the same time uh, now um, I would like to associate this with an image as we usually do on uh, our uh, tastings and I think this wine it's like if you saw that movie the, the, the old man and the sea this wine it's exactly what that uh, movie associate with that movie because it's it's crafted the old man it's crafted on uh, old vines it's the average vines actually in Santorini age it's seven year old vines and it's exactly like the old man you know uh, to see harsh weather but he's still strong he still has power to fight the big fish and uh, nonetheless this wine is perfect for the for the seafood so uh, thank you for watching this episode with me please leave your comments and uh, let me know uh, your opinions